and welcome to this week's screencast. I'm Rachel Bartlett and this week I wanted to take a look at a couple of web tools that you can use to transcribe audio uh, which will hopefully help save you a lot of time as a journalist. So the two ones I wanted to look at are Transcribe and Otranscribe. First let's start with Transcribe and the URL of which is transcribe.really with a W at the beginning dot com forward slash app. Now Transcribe was a free app, um, it's now paid for, they ask for a small amount and you get an annual subscription. So once you've subscribed and logged in then you should come up with this screen and all you need to do first of all is to insert your audio. It outlines the different audio types which you can use and if you were to use uh, an audio type that isn't supported then uh, the audio may simply just show up but there'd be no sound so don't panic um, the chances are that you just have the wrong format so just check you have we tend to use mp3 at journalism.co.uk so you choose your file uh, just got some test audio here and there are different things that you can do to work your way through your transcription. So obviously you can play your audio, which um, is the shortcut key for which is escape. Um, so you can play and pause with that same button. Um, and you can also uh, fast forward, which is F4, if you want to skip through to a later bit of the audio. Or you can go back and rewind, which is F3. And you can also uh, speed up and slow down your audio, which uh, slow down in particular is helpful when you haven't maybe heard what someone has said. Slowing it down can help it be more legible. Also, um, just to note that when you use play and pause, uh, when you press pause and then play again, it won't play from that very point. It will go back a bit, which is quite helpful uh, when transcribing. Another tool you can use here is the insert timestamp. So if we were to have arrived at this point in the audio, and we wanted to make a note of the fact that this was interesting. You could hit the timestamp and it will insert the time there for you. So it's a reminder of at what point you found something that was interesting. Maybe you want to go back to it. Um, another idea is that you can have already listened through to all of your audio, first of all. Um, and you can press your timestamps at points you want to go back and actually transcribe. So that could save time rather than listening to the whole piece of audio. And then it's simply a case of finding that point and clicking and playing from there. So just some other things you can do in here. You can make text bold. Um, you can also put it in italics and underline it. You can insert bullet points, um, numbered bullet points. You can indent and you can, and you can take away that indent as well. You can also add links, um, so if you wanted to add a, a link to a website at any point, you can just highlight the text, hit the hyperlink button and insert the web link there. You can also um, put in HTML, see the HTML of it and switch back to this view. And you can um, save the text document um, as a separate text document as opposed to just copying and pasting the text out of Transcribe, although you can do that as well. Hit this button that says export as doc and you'll see it opens up as a text document. Going back to Transcribe. There's another tool that was introduced um, a little while ago called Dictate, um, which actually enables you to read into um, your into Transcribe and it will take down as accurately as it can what you're saying. So let me just try that now. I am transcribing online. Full stop. Space. Is this working? Question mark. Now, obviously, I'm just going to turn this off first. Now, obviously, if uh, it doesn't get down a word accurately, although it's pretty good, um, you can always go back and type in the word that you meant to say. Um, and then, you can, as you saw, you can just click back where it said speak and it will move back to dictate. So they're the key features um, of Transcribe. It's also worth noting that with both Transcribe and Otranscribe, which I'm going to come on to in a moment, um, it's advised by both platforms. Well, it's advised with Otranscribe that you use Chrome or Safari to use it, um, and Transcribe is actually um, only really usable uh, properly in, in Chrome. So that's why I'm using Chrome to use both of these today. So let's move on to Otranscribe, which you can find at otranscribe.com. And this is actually a free tool. 
Um, and the interesting thing about iTranscribe is that it lets you transcribe both audio and video, which is handy if you want to transcribe a filmed interview, for example. And it also saves you having to therefore export it as audio only before you can even put it into your transcription tool. So again, you find your media file and insert it. I'm going to use this video to show you how that would look. And again, you have the ability to obviously play your audio, which again is just an escape key shortcut, and again um, takes you back ever so slightly each time you pause. And you, of course, um, are also able to rewind, um, jump back, and jump forward. And you can also adjust the speed using this dial, um, and the line takes you back to normal speed. You can also uh, make your text bold. which you can do either by clicking the bold button here or using what is obviously a standard uh, keyboard shortcut of Control b or if you're on a Mac, Command-B. Same um, in terms of putting it in italics. And just like transcribe, you can add timestamps. Um, so you may have got to this point in the video and we want to add a timestamp. So you can either click the clock button or it's um, Control or Command-J. And the interesting thing with this is, let's just put a couple of these in. The interesting thing with this is, is that actually these are um, interactive links. So what you can do is um, put all your timestamps in, and then if you want to go back to that part of the audio, you just click on that timestamp, and it will take you back, as you can see up here. So again, like I said, journalists can use this to either listen to their audio in full first and using timestamp to mark out the most interesting points that you want to go back to to transcribe, or you can use it while you're transcribing to remember where those parts were. Um, it's also useful if you want to go back and edit out those sound bites in, a, in, an, audio, in an audio editing piece of software. Um, so you can turn your um, transcription um, into a markdown or plain text document um, and you can also in OTranscribe um, send it to Google Drive. So once you've connected your Google Drive account um, you can just press send transcript to Google Drive which it does and it will then tell you you can open in Drive if you want which you can see then and it includes your timestamps etc. And this is great if you're working on like a collaborative project for example. Um, just on a final note, OTranscribe um, is also available in different languages, as you can see here. Also, you can just uh, copy and paste your text at any point. And a good, another good point about Transcribe is that if at any time you accidentally press the back button or come out of transcribe as you'll see here you do lose the audio you'd have to put that back in but it keeps your text so that's quite a good little feature for saving you if you uh, if you happen to accidentally go back or close down your browser so I hope that was useful. Um, let me know if there are any other web transcription tools which you find really helpful. Um, email me rachel at journalism.co.uk and that's it. Thanks for watching.